Hello, my friends. Welcome once again to Faith Walk 101. So we're talking about what's real and what's not real. But what we've been talking about are the uh, mental health issues that we're experiencing in our world today. And we want to look at what the Bible says about it. We want to address these things according to what God says. Because, you know, Jesus is the great physician. He is the healer. And uh, he said in John 14, 26, he says, when I go away, I am going to send a counselor, uh, the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit is going to come. He's going to teach us. He's going to guide us. Jesus is going to heal us with his word. So what is real and what is not real? So it's faith. Faith is not just believing. It's relying on what you believe. We are living in a world that is totally relies on what we can see. If we can see it, then we believe in it. If we can't see it, we don't believe in it. But everything that happens in this world starts in the invisible. Let me repeat that. Everything that happens all around us, everything that affects us in this world today starts in the invisible. In the book of Colossians chapter 1 verse 16, it reads, in him all things were created everything was created things in heaven and on earth and it goes on to say this visible and invisible whether thrones or dominions or rulers or authorities all things were created through him and for him so there is an invisible world and it affects us nothing happens in the visible that starts in the invisible first the things were, that are affecting people today start in the invisible. But we don't want to address that because we don't really understand it. But God is telling us what's in the invisible. There's an invisible war that's taking place. And my friends, the battle is for your heart. And the enemy is taking control of a lot of people because they don't understand how they are being affected by the invisible. 2 Peter chapter 1 and verse 3, the Bible reads, His divine power has given us everything we need for this life and godliness. So God's divine power. See, it's not our power. It's the power of the Holy Spirit that lives inside of us. No, we cannot see it, but it's powerful. And it's the Holy Spirit. And it says this power that God has put inside of us is everything we need. Uh, to live in this life and to live a godly life. And it goes on to say, through our knowledge of him who called us, who called us by his own glory and goodness. So it's through his knowledge, through our knowledge. So we have to have some knowledge of what the word of God says. And this is what is happening to a lot of people today. They, they do not have the knowledge uh, or understanding of what the Bible teaches. Scripture. The world wants us to rely on the physical things that we can see. But the Bible is, is telling us there is an invisible war that's taking place. There's an, the invisible has also been created by God. So, he's given us his precious promises. God has given us his precious promises so that we may participate in his divine nature isn't that wonderful he's given us these promises so that we can take part in it we can be a part of his divine nature it's his power not ours we don't have any power we need to understand and know what the word of god says and the holy spirit speaking through the word of god is helping us to understand it so that we may participate in his divine nature and escape what are we going to escape the corruption in this world caused by evildoers. So it's by understanding and relying on his promise, resting on his promises, relying on his power, that we are able to escape the corruption that's, uh, that is caused by evil desires. What is uh, causing a lot of uh, mental health issues? I think it's this lack of understanding of how we are being affected by this invisible world and how we are not... Uh, embracing and following God's way, believing and accepting it, all by faith. 
See, faith is uh, not just believing, but it's relying on what we believe. And in the, the book of Romans, chapter, uh, I think it's 14, verse 7. No, Romans 10, 17. Sorry about that. Romans 10, 17 says, faith comes by hearing. And so how do we get faith? We get faith by hearing his word. And where do we hear his word from? The word of God. And so faith comes by hearing. And uh, hearing and hearing and hearing. So we are developing, we're strengthening our faith by trusting in God. We're relying on what we believe. So it goes on to say we have escaped corruption. Uh, these mental health issues, all these things that's coming in on us, we're able to escape it. Why? By participating in God's divine power. Amen. His divine nature. For this reason, uh, it goes on to say, make every effort to add to your faith goodness and to your goodness knowledge. We want to understand. We want to come to know and have this relationship of our Lord Jesus Christ. We need to know that what is behind uh, the invisible has manifested itself in the visible and is affecting the physical and the mental state of people today. I want to repeat that. We need to know and understand. Everyone needs to know and understand that what is behind the invisible, what we cannot see, has manifested itself in the visible so that we can now see it and what it is doing it is affecting the physical and the mental state of people today we want to talk more about mental health and we want to look at it through the word of god uh, we serve a god that loves us he wants us to know and understand and have a deep personal relationship with him now we don't want to focus on uh the invisible and demon activity. We want to focus on our Lord Jesus Christ. But at the same time, we want to understand how we are being affected by things that we cannot see. My friends, the, uh, the invisible, it is real, okay? It's real. And just because we cannot see the air we breathe, it's real. Because if God, and God owns the air we breathe, and if he says, that we can no longer have it, guess what? We will no longer be here. We trust and we love our Lord Jesus Christ. Thank you, my friends. I hope this message has been encouraging to you. Continue to join us on Faith Walk 101.